And breaking news now on CBS 2 News at 6 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Pat Harvey. For the third time in four days, LA County is reporting a record number of COVID-19 cases. Today's count is 8,860 cases, surpassing the previous record of 7,854 cases set yesterday. The county is reporting another 60 deaths and the number of people hospitalized has risen past 2600, the highest level so far since the pandemic began. As LA County records another record high in coronavirus cases, the clock is ticking to the state's stay at home order for Southern California. It will start when we have less than 15% of ICU beds open. Doctors expect an influx of patients tied to the recent Thanksgiving holiday, and that's why the governor announced a new criteria for restrictions. If ICU availability drops to 15%, the regional stay at home order will kick in and our region is inching closer. ICUs are already busy. It's unfortunate, but not unexpected. Uh, we have definitely seen an increase in census, not only in the hospitalized patients, but more importantly, our critical care patients. It's not only the COVID-19 patients that we care about. We care about all the patients in the community because we want to make sure that we have those precious resources to take care of them if they, God forbid, get a heart attack or stroke or other kind of medical emergencies. Some business owners fear their shops will close for good in another shutdown. Now, the new rules would require hair salons and barbershops, along with bars and wineries to close. Bars and most wineries are already closed here in Southern California. Retail stores will be limited to 20% capacity, and restaurants can only offer takeout and delivery, which is already the case in L.A. County.